Thanks, Debbie. This is a general reading for Aries from the 26th of November, the new moon, to the full moon on the 11th of December. So roughly two weeks from the new moon to the full moon. And um, these are just my channel feelings from what I'm getting from the ethers, so please don't make life decisions based on it. <laughs> Use your own judgment and intuition and discernment. But hopefully you find it helpful, some of these insights. If you wish to take a moment to tune in with me as I go into a little meditative state and tap into the energies, then I'll probably make it more attuned to you specifically um, if you want to join me while I do that. doing my readings in the middle of the night, of course. It's the best time to tap in. so serious. Well, we'll just keep going. My, my mother had batteries here for a second, but anyways, um, we'll just paste it together. But so, yeah, you, representing you in this reading, is the King of Swords. So you're very much in your intellect and your discernment and, um, yeah, you're very serious <laughs> right now. Um, you do, using your judgment, using the power of your intellect, seeing clearly, seeing the truth, and um, 
fit, being fair, but not putting up with any kind of anything. Um, and so why is that? I mean, I guess we'll find out. But the crossing energies around you is the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is um, working diligently to um, kind of master your craft or grow something. Um, yeah, you're just, you're working hard on something. You're putting in the work. <laughs> that's the energy around you right now. You're in a phase where it's like, that's what it's about for you. You want to get stuff done. You want to work on your pentacles, you know, creating stability, creating money, um, refining your skills, things like that. That's what's, that's kind of where you're at right now. No time for love. <laughs> the base of the reading, you have the Knight of Wands, so perhaps I spoke too soon. And the Knight of Wands is a very passionate, flamboyant knight, very attractive and um, charismatic. Um, but, you know, the knights come in and out. They're, it's not a stable energy. It's, you know, it's just like... Um, It's for a moment, it comes in, you know, the knight comes to the rescue and then um, leaves and goes on the next adventure. But it's good because it can bring an influx of this energy, it can bring an influx of passion, it comes charging in with a lot of passion, brings, brings an intense energy to the situation. And it's the base of the reading, it's at the root of the issue. Whatever this is about, it's because of this. Um, Yeah, this passion that's needed right now, or anyway, we'll, we'll find out. Let's keep going. In the past, you have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is like, it's kind of indifference, emotional indifference. You're, you're sitting there, and you're being offered this cup from the heavens. <laughs> And you're like, what? <laughs> I've got these other three cups right here. I don't know. Is that cup any different? It's kind of different, though. It's like it's like the cup from the Ace of Cups. It's like the Holy Grail. It's like em emotional fulfillment. It's kind of being offered to you, and you're kind of like, eh. You're not interested in it, or perhaps you're taking it for granted. Or perhaps you, you already have two, three other cups just like that. So you're just like, well... So the, it has to do with that in the past. There's some, some indifference going on in the past on an emotional level with some sort of offer. There's something being offered to you or you offered to somebody and it was, um, you know, it was kind of ignored or it was seen as, you know, they were indifferent to it. So, yeah. Um... And in your crowning thoughts is the Empress. And the Empress is just a high level of creative, nurturing, loving energy. And um, yeah, the birthing process, the, the creative process. Um, that's what's on your mind. This is in, in your mind right now is the Empress. And the Empress can also be about self-love it's and it's also about nurturing it's a nurturing energy but it can be that for yourself because the empress is like she's the culmination of all the queens you know she's not running around after anybody she sits there and she just is and emanates and does her thing and people come to her you know yeah that's what's on your mind, Aries. In the near future, you have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is truth. It's the truth. It's clarity. It's, it's cutting away things that don't serve. And that's where you're headed. You're about to bring 
down the sort of truth into your life and into these situations. So, um, in your hopes, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new business venture. It can be a gift. It can be a new beginning in a stable relationship or a sta a, um, the beginning of a business idea. The seed of, you know, growing something on a financial level. And um, how others see you during this time or in this in, in this context is as the Eight of Swords, which is about being in your head, having a lot of fears and anxieties about something, but it's like it's you're doing it to yourself. It's not necessarily founded. It's like you're creating this for yourself. The Eight of Swords. So people see you as being kind of in your head about this and being, you know, kind of blocked um, and going around in circles and, and, and you're doing it to yourself. You can unblock yourself, but you're just, you're thinking in circles. You need to use your intuition or either using your intuition or using like greater intellect by actually like researching things or getting things done. It's like if you procrastinate, um, you know, cause you're indifferent and then things pile up and it starts to create stress. It's like, just take care of some of those things and the stress can disappear cause you're not just like thinking about it and worrying about it. Um, but yeah, you're, you're doing it to yourself. So then in your fears, you have the Ten of Swords. I'm trying to figure out how this, you can see this better if I tilt it this way, this way, this way. Eh. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So, yeah, I mean, you're afraid of, like, kind of having a little mini tower moment of catharsis of getting your heart broken here. Of, 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 you're afraid of a very pain, something ending very painfully. That's basically what that is. But, you know, in this, there is an ending. So it's an end to the pain. It's something that was very painful, ending also potentially painful, but then it's over. But it's in your fears, so you're afraid. You're afraid of the of something ending painfully. <laughs> and who isn't, really? So, <laughs> um, in your outcome, you have the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, and that's um, you know. Somebody could be giving you a gift. It can be news of a financial nature. Um, maybe you had an inheritance or you got a job or, you know, um, yeah, it's, um, it's good. It's, it's finances coming in. Um, it could be an offer of some kind, a job offer or a gift or an offer um, for a more stable connection, it's, you know, if it were a relationship reading. Um, yeah, over here in the reader's fan, um, these, these are just messages that don't have a placement. They're just more information about the reading. You have the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is also an offer. It is also a message of an emotional nature, though. It can be like an apology. It can be... Um, someone saying they want to take you out, they care about you, they um, love you, uh, they want to connect emotionally, um, you know, uh, and the Page of Pentacles is similarly that with, um, you know, things of a financial nature or creating stability or, um, you know, being given a gift or something like that. You also have the Six of Cups, which is about the past coming back. 
It can be a past energy or memories or um, something very familiar, you know. Um, yeah, something from the past coming back, past life or a past connection or a feeling or an energy. The Queen of Cups, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands. And she's a very passionate, uh, sexy queen. Uh, she does a lot of stuff. She's, she brings, um, yeah, she brings a lot of um, passion to her projects. And that could be you or someone you work with. Um, but you also have the King of Wands here. So you have um, kind of a soulmate connection going on showing up and it could be you and someone else or it could be <laughs> I don't know why it would be but it could be like you know some people in your life that are an amazing couple that um, or an amazing partnership that it's relevant to you right now but it's most likely you and somebody else so you know this could be about a relationship but it's you know um You're in your head. You want to you want to be in your head about it right now. For whatever reason. You're focused more on stability than this passion. But it looks like this knight turns into a king and there's something significant being offered here. I'm going to stop this when we start it. Hold up. It's gone dark. I apologize, Aries. Um, I have to change my battery. But um, yeah, so where were we? Oh, yes. You have some sort of... Um, partnership going on here with this king and queen of wands and it's very passionate or it could be a partnership in a passion project if it's not about love um then or a relationship then it's about a project that you're both very equally passionate about and you're a really good partnership here So, yeah, maybe then if it's some sort of project partnership, then you get news of, in this two-week period, communications, news of financial nature regarding it, um, where you receive something that creates a certain level of stability. Um, let's clarify. Let's clarify the Page of Cups and the outcome. take this and I love this deck and these little cards are great for clarifying me but um, it's the Kilt's deck and it's so abstract that and it's it's like newer deck for me so I have to go check out what the major arcana are because it's like yeah they're unrecognizable temperance okay 
temperance in the outcome. Hmm. Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So again with the King of Swords, you have a repeat. There's usually like some significance to that. And again, the Page of Cups. So, yeah. You have some sort of offer of an emotional nature here going on as well. Some communication about that. An apology, an offer, a communication of an emotional nature. Could be an apology. Um, the two of pentacles, you're trying to balance, um, juggle some things, could be um, work and home life, you know, it, it's, it could be several people in your life. Um, but there's some juggling going on, trying to keep things in balance. And the King of Swords, using your discernment, using your head over your heart. Yeah, Aries. You're in, you want to use your head over your heart. You want to... Um, you want to talk about, you want to get some harsh truths out. You want to cut things out that aren't serving. You want to do it swiftly. <laughs> but, but here is, is also temperance calling for a balance of the head and the heart. And there is this pentacle here, this page of pentacles. There is this juggling, this balancing. There is this page of cups. It's calling for a balance here, balance of your head and heart. Two volatile forces coming together potentially volatile forces. In the Four of Pentacles, you know, you're, you're holding back this emotion with the, with the King of Swords here. It's there. It's there, but it's being held back by you or by this other person or in the situation, it's being held back. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Why are you afraid of this painful ending or something painful ending? Why are you afraid of this ending, this painful ending? Ten of Swords. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Again, this night, this passionate, charismatic night, and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is self-sufficient. She has her shit together. 
she's abundant. The night is unstable, he comes in with his flurry of passion and you know, charisma and then leaves again once the adventure is over. It's an in and out energy it can be. And the lovers, the lovers. You're just afraid this person's going to break your heart. They're going to come in and then leave again. With this energy of like in and out energy. Yeah, there's a whole little story in your fears here, whole little story. Yeah, you're focusing on your pentacles, but you're afraid, you're trying to make head over heart decisions so you don't get hurt by this person coming in and out. Or this project, <laughs> this project or whatever. Yeah, you're just trying to make informed, you're trying to make logical decisions about it. Um, you know, <laughs> it's a passion project though. It's important to you. There's a lot of creative energy that you're putting into it. You're investing. You're invested. You're putting work into it. Whatever it is. If it's a project or a relationship. There's work going into this. And. You want. Stability. And you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. But it's, it's small at first. It's small at first. So maybe that's why you're you're apprehensive about it. But <laughs> yeah, in the near future here, let's clarify this. Is you have this sword of Damocles here hanging over the head of this. You know, you're ready in the future. It's like you've got your sword out. You're ready for the truth, the harsh truth. So cut things out make the, those logical choices, regardless of whatever this passion is you feel, whatever this love is you feel, this person from the past, the indifference. But let's clarify first, why do they see you as the Eight of Swords? The Ace of Swords. They see you as the Eight of Swords. You're blocked about it. You're in your head about it. Because you want the truth and you, you want to cut this out. You're like, they see you as that because that's what you're showing. You're showing them. They know that's not, you're not acting on your feelings there. They know you're in your head.
and they know that you're cutting things out. Nine of Pentacles because because you want stability. You want a little bit more stability, but it's it's coming, but it's slow, and it's just a little bit, <laughs> and it might not be enough. And maybe in the past it was there, but you didn't recognize it. You didn't recognize it. Because there's a lot of this in and out energy with the passion. It was in and out with the passion. Hmm. I don't know where this goes, but it came out. The Queen of Wands again and the Five of Cups which is regret and crying over spilled milk kind of vibes, but it's like, it's like not seeing that it's not always lost because two cups are still filled. We have the King of Pentacles. Again, the stability thing. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords in the near future. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> hmm. And the Magician. Seven of Cups. Hmm. So if we were to read that linearly, then this truth and clarity is because you want a passionate new beginning. You want to start over or again, could, could be with the same person. But, um, and there's the magician. See, so and the seven of cups. So you want to start over, you want a passionate new beginning you have everything that you need to do so. It's all here. You can make that happen. You have options. You have options. You can, you can choose anything you want. So you're ready to cut, you're ready to cut this out you're ready to cut this out logically in your head. In your head you are. In your head you are. But you also might be ready to start over again.
because you have the Six of Cups. It's, you know, it's a past energy coming back. There's in a beautiful way, but there's some a reconciliation energy. And you have the Queen and the King of Wands together. And you have the Page of Cups, which can also be a new beginning in love. And this is like being met. This is being met in a passionate connection. You're both bringing the same level to the table and it's a match. It's a match. So this is a relationship or a project or a partnership in a project, in a passion project. You're in this phase where you're kind of redlining it <laughs> intellectually, you're really redlining it. And you're ready to make some changes if need be to bring the stability that you want. But you're working on it. And yeah, if this is a project, and it very well could be, because what's on your mind is the Empress. And that's like, that's the creative process of birthing something that's, you know, That's nurturing something and here you are working on something that energies around you it's all about this Pentacles here or this project that hasn't been stable but the passion has been there but in the past you didn't necessarily see what the potential that was being offered or if this is a person then they didn't somebody didn't this person or people around you the external energy saw you as being kind of blocked and in your head about it about what to do. You want clarity. You want stability. So you can move forward. So you can make things happen. Let's get some advice from the universe. Which can, of course, can only happen with the Star Band, David Bowie Star Band deck. So you have the wheel of fortune. Things are moving in your favor. Things are shifting. And you can see that in this future position with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Magician, the Seven of Cups. There's stuff you can do. You have options. You can make things happen here. 
you can make this beginning happen for this project or this connection, whatever it is for you. These are just the energies and it could be anything, anything in that place. And the Queen of Wands, again, passionate, fiery queen, with all her creative projects. And that could be you here, getting stuff done. And I think remembering that it's about how you feel about it. It's about the, it's about the energy and the passion about it. It's not, I think like when you're like, you get into these swords, you need to be in, you need to be in your queen of wands. Then you have a match, a partnership that comes in or uh, this relationship, if that's what it is. And then the Three of Wands. So waiting for your ships to come in. <laughs> You're standing there and you've already chosen your path and your path, you've gone down it enough that it's developed to the level of this three and you're invested in the next phase. You want to take it to the next phase, which is the four, which is the st stable stability, the stable relationship, the stable project. You're waiting for that four. And since this is the advice, Give it a minute. <laughs> Give it a minute and see what happens. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Well, um, it's very you, Aries, this Queen of Wands. <laughs> this very you with your fire. So be that, be in that. You'll have this change of fortune and your pentacles will be coming. So just give it a minute. Wait for your ships. You've been you've been working on this. You've been investing in this, and it's going to come in. There's something coming. And you will decide if it's good enough, if it's worth it. But don't overlook it. Don't overlook it. Don't overlook this offer coming. There's very positive things being drawn to this project or this relationship. There's energy coming in, stability coming in, in the form of finance or building something with someone. Yeah, so that's all I'm getting for you, Aries. Um, if this was helpful, then please like and subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted when I um, put out more readings and it all helps my little baby channel thrive. So thank you.